What's the matter with South Windsor? Why it's getting more and more popular nowadays? What are the pros and cons of living or investing in South Windsor? What are the average prices? What are the average rental rates? Or what are the different strategies that you can apply for investing in South Windsor? If you're wondering, then this video is for you. Namaskar, Aditya here. Welcome back to my channel. So, as I said, in this video, we're gonna talk about South Windsor, but I'm not gonna do that because I have a special guest who is Srinivas Vadapalli, who is an agent in my team, who is a first-time homebuyer specialist, who loves working with first-time homebuyers, help them through the process without any hustle, and also moved from Toronto a few years ago and purchased a house in South Windsor. So he was always telling me that he did extensive research on South Windsor, especially because he has a, a small kid and expecting another kid. So he did a, a ton of research to make that move. So now he is here with us to share all the good and bad about South Windsor. So stay tuned. Hi. My name is Srinivas. I'm a real estate agent with the Win City team in Windsor, Ontario. I moved here about two years ago uh, in 2018 uh, from Chatham and before that I was in Toronto for a long time. The reason for me to choose Windsor, I love this place. So when I moved in, I did my groundwork and I chose South Windsor to be my home. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the reasons why South Windsor in my opinion is my personal favorite and why it could be your personal favorite too. South Windsor comes under the subdistrict 08 of Windsor Essex region. In it has five regions South Cameron to begin with, uh, followed by the South Windsor, followed by Roseland, which is where I am, followed by Southwood Lakes, which is the most premium part of the South Windsor, I would say, followed by finally Walker Gates, which has recently seen an uprise and a lot of people moving in. South Windsor uh, typically has uh, you know, homes ranging between the 19s, uh, late 1950s to almost newer subdivisions coming in. So its spectrum of age is all the way from 1950s to 2020s. But if you ask me the average age of the house in South Windsor is approximately between 40 to 45 years. Coming to the types of houses, we can have a variety of properties that you can see in South Windsor, starting from mostly bungalows, side splits, back splits, two stories, raised ranches, and pretty much you name it, like all kinds of properties are most commonly seen across South Windsor. Talking about the pros of South Windsor, uh, to name a few, there is schools. Some of the top schools in Windsor Essex region are in South Windsor. Speaking of, uh, Bellwood, number one French immersion out of uh, the 3000 odd schools in Ontario. You have Southwood School, you have Glenwood School, you have Talbot Trail. These are the public schools. And coming to the Catholic schools, you have St. Gabriel, you have Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and you have a couple of other schools. But uh, bottom line is, I would say approximately 30% of the schools in Windsor when you rank them across the spectrum, they are in the top in the whole province, which is a huge plus, which is why you see a lot of people coming in from different parts of the province and even from the US that are recently moving into Canada, you have all of them trying to find a place here in South Windsor. Not just the elementary schools, when it comes to secondary schools, you have one of the best school in the entire of uh, Windsor Essex. Uh, it's Vincent Massey, where a lot of school, school kids, uh, when they go to the high school, you know, prefer to go. You have a couple of other schools in Windsor Essex, but Vincent uh, Massey by far, I believe, is the most well-known name here in South Windsor. That's for the schools. Talking about shopping. One of the reasons why South Windsor is famous is you have all these big brand name box stores such as uh, Best Buy, uh, Superstore, Costco, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, big brand eateries too, like all of them have set their shops here in South Windsor. In fact, it's also right next to the newly being constructed mega hospital which is going to come up in a few years down the line. So pretty much, uh, you know, even from a connectivity perspective, whether you want to go to the US, you are about uh, two minutes to the highway uh, that leads you to the Ambassador Bridge, whether you're planning to cross to the other part of the town, E0 is just a couple of minutes, and whether you're trying to go to Toronto, you're just three minutes away from Highway 401. So it's centrally located within Windsor, enabling you to move anywhere across that you wanted to go in no time. Now, if I have to pick up only a couple of cons, uh, which really I 
don't believe it they are cons but i think they are more like the price you're paying for you know being in one of the top locations in windsor are the age of the homes like i said the spectrum of the age of homes in windsor can vary anywhere between 1950s to uh, 2020s um, but like i said again for me that was not a problem because the construction quality of these homes if you see are top notch like they are built from the ground up with solid brick i'm pretty sure some of these houses will last for another 50 years no problem whatsoever another con that i personally feel is the price point of the homes um, nowadays you can't even get you know any decent property in south windsor maybe a few years back it is a possibility but right now uh, if you're looking at a property here in south windsor a decent property you should be ready to pay anything north of three hundred and fifty thousand dollars and all the way to seven hundreds for the new builds that are happening right in the walker gates community if you are looking to invest in south windsor uh, i would recommend you two choices one is buy and hold for the long-term strategy where you buy something today and the way property prices are appreciating here in windsor ontario uh, you can pretty much expect a very good return on your investments about five years down the line if you are more looking for a cash flow the properties that you need to look for is duplex conversions for some of the ranch properties here uh, because um, you know you have these ranch homes built solid and 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 you know you can basically convert these duplex conversions into uh, legal secondary units and you know you can get great rents from uh, this particular uh, type of properties here in south windsor uh, because uh, it is such a premium location the quality of tenants that you get is also super high you pretty much get uh, a plus tenants Speaking of an average rents, you're looking anywhere between, uh, for a single family home if you have to rent, uh, you're looking anywhere between $1,800 to $2,200 plus utilities. And for a basement, it could range anywhere between $1,200 to $1,500 inclusive of utilities. So really for those high rents, the quality of tenants that you get also is super good. So to summarize, um, again, South Windsor, as for the following reasons that I gave you earlier, uh, you know, is the best location in my opinion. And that is why I believed in that location. So I moved my family here. So I think if you are looking for a family uh, house for, you know, your kids to go to the best schools, for you to get accessibility, I believe you should invest in South Windsor too. If you have any questions in South Windsor, please do reach out to us.